Hey everybody. Nice to be back on live here. Just soaking in the Friday vibes here in Marina Del Rey. It's a beautiful day, not, not too hot at all. Um, nice little breeze going, really soaking in just the, the calmness of the day right here. Um, yeah, and I was feeling really super inspired to like kind of do a live video and share some things that are happening with me and um, oh, say hi if you're watching, uh, if, you, if you can hear me. Um, yeah, hi Allison. Um, so yeah, I, I'm in the midst of a big kind of like transformative period of stepping into more of my my power and more of uh, my own self-expression, like doing more self-expression online because I really want to get uh, my message out of uh, the new business that I'm starting, um, uh, being a, a spiritual IT quantum accelerator coach is kind of the, the label that seems to be resonating right now, but I seem to be changing labels every, <laughs> every few months, but um, that seems to be sticking a lot. Um, and I wanted to just talk about uh, flow and alignment and passion and, and empowerment and hi, hi Janya, Janya, sorry if I don't if I mess up your name, um, nice of you to join. Um, so there was like I have this new, this new practice of um, really really tuning into celebration because I, I'm really wanting to be aligned and I want to feel more empowered in 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 not doubting myself and not doubting uh, the energy that I bring and not doubting uh, the value and the, and the gifts that I bring because I I know intrinsically that it is powerful and, and the more I hide it the less of a the more of a disservice I am doing uh, to the planet um, by not shining as bright as as I'm intended to as I uh, as I'm supposed to so really giving this some thought of like we use these words flow and empowerment and uh, what was the other title I put on this um, Facebook Live description, but abundance, like all of these big picture words we use, but I don't think a lot of us really kind of dive deep into ourselves about what are the results, what are the, what are the real outcomes in our reality that would prove to us uh, that we are abundant or that we are in flow. I think um, we know when we are, uh, when we're in that good and high vibrational state, when we're, we're feeling creative and when we're feeling inspired and motivated and productive or calm or excited. But what does that actually mean uh, in your day-to-day -day, uh, life? Because the more and more we can get clear on When to notice it and how to notice it. Um, let's see if I can get this. Um, because this flow is is always present, and and the more that you are present, the more that you can rec recognize and see see it unfolding right in front of you. And it's it's beautiful when when you're not resisting any of your energy and you are fully giving yourself permission to embody your power and and then the question of like then what is empowerment it, because being in flow and and all of that is more is is more of the ease right it's the ease it's the effortlessness um, it is the synchronicity, it is the 
things working out. It's the um, it's the the Wonka River, right? So empowerment then is kind of a complementary a complementary um, perception to this flow because when we're empowered it's it's like we are feeling like we are creating the flow yet that this flow is exactly how we are deliberately intending it to be with our uh, conscious deliberate thought um, so I don't know if that makes sense but there there is it's, there's a parallel there because empowerment is 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 more of a state of how you're in your enjoyment enjoyment with the flow so I, does that make sense uh, you know it's just kind of musing right now about about these things um, it's very positive it's very positive I woke up today kind of in a in this old cynicism cynical attitude of anti-celebration um, is how I kind of put it anti-celebration seemed like the way that the cynic uh, tears down all sense of progress um, because I've really made it a point to really celebrate myself and celebrate my transformation and, and what I'm what I'm doing and, and the work that I'm doing um, for myself and, and for the planet um, so in this anti-celebration cynical state we look back on let, let's say we look back on our week or the last two weeks and maybe our memory is a little bit foggy and we can't you know remember all the details but you do have the thing the blips uh, that kind of come up uh, of of your wins, of your of your level ups, of your uh, realizations and your insights that are and they show up. But this cynic, it doesn't uh, it doesn't allow you to really feel grateful for those things, and they, it really actually diminishes the power of of how awesome you are and really make it a point to celebrate all the little things that maybe no one else sees uh, but you do you, you feel it you feel what what you are winning at and what you are doing right most of the, all of the time um, just by being and Yeah, that feels really important. And so I really am making a point to say that this old view where the, gra the gratitude is not registered, it's not enough, that is very limiting when, when the positivity that you're attempting to infuse into your, into your mind and body is not enough and there's some expectation that because it's it, it's never enough and the more that we can be self-aware to what that is and what the mechanism is and how it's really tied to um, is that considered like the to what the planet is going through and all of this negativity that we're clearing you can start to see that oh where's the choice where's the choice to choose the best thoughts choose the thoughts that feel good so anyways just thought I'd share um, I'd love to connect let me know if you have any questions uh, and I uh, hope everyone has really good days